What's up guys? Adam here from High Point Longboarding Club and coming at you today with a review of the new Bustin Robot. Now this board um, coming from Bustin Boards again from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, great company and this is their newest addition to their lineup. Um, the, the board comes in two different lengths. This this one here is the 41 inch one. It also comes in a 36 inch one. Um, the board has a nice radial concave to it. If you can see it right there, it's got a nice concave. Really sinks your feet into it. You don't slip off much. Um, and it's got the slide rail technology from Bustin again. So you have the grip on the slide rail and it comes down at a sharper edge than the rest of their board. So you get that more leverage and the push and the slides. Um, Another cool thing, the stock grip tape um, comes stock with, I think it's Vicious Grip Tape. Um, it's either Vicious or Gator Grip. Either way, both great grips, very coarse. You know, you're not going to be grabbing this too much with your hands because it'll tear it up. It's that, it's that coarse. Um, it, it is a drop through deck, as you can see. Um, and it only has the one set of mounting options on it. You can see it better back there. Um, it's a great board, um, good free ride board. Um, we got it here at High Point with a set of caliber 50 trucks, 50 caliber trucks, um, and their new line of Royce Premier wheels. That's Boston's uh, wheel. Um, we got the yellow ones, they're right over here actually on our Eibach for downhill now. You can see that. They're a nice big wheel, 75 millimeters, the big contact patch. Um, I think it's a 60 mi 69 millimeter contact patch, which again is bigger than most wheels of its size. Um, which is going to give you a lot more roll speed um, and help you eke out a win against those other downhillers. So over there, again, the Eibach with the calibers and the Royce Premier wheels and Bustin's new ABEC 9 bearings, which are their faster, more higher performance bearing than their ABEC 7 ones. Um, so that right there is the club's downhill board. Um, this one kind of cruising and free riding. We're going to make this into a cruising and free riding machine. We're going to couple it with the Bear 852 longboard trucks and these Bustin Swifts we got on the Apex 37 here. We're going to take this off today, throw it up on the robot, and then turn this into a free riding machine. Um, one thing that I personally like about this board a lot is if you can see here, the board dips in a little bit right in the middle. It provides a nice little spot where you can carry the board, you're not going to tear up your hands because the grip tape does come down like I said on the edges, um, so you're not going to tear up your hands carrying it there, and it, and it provides a nice spot to, know, to uh, know where your feet are while you're riding too, because um, when you're moving your feet around you can really feel that edge where there's not grip, and so you really know where your feet are on the board without having to look down too much. Um, it does have, have a nose and a tail, it, and again, as you can see it is symmetrical. Um, it's really kind of a do-everything board in a sense, um, although it is made for mostly free ride and downhill. Um, you can manual on it. It's got a nice leverage, actually, um, surprisingly for how small the tail is once the trucks are on it. Um, but um, it's, it's really easy to manual. It's not as heavy as it looks. Um, it is a heavier board, but not nearly as heavy as it looks. Um, Cool graphic on the bottom. This is the limited edition graphic for the Robot 41. Again, 41 um, inches long, 10 inches wide, and a 31 inch wheelbase. Um, and yeah, Bustin Boards, one of a kind. Built in New York. Built in Brooklyn for the world, something like that. Either way, great board. Um, the one thing I will say about this board um, that's a little bit annoying is right on the edges here. You can see the the grip tape kind of peels off a little bit because um, it is simply just, um, it's not a separate piece of grip tape. It's the same grip tape from here all the way over to here. They don't really change the grip options. So it's the same piece of grip tape, which is going to be harder to stick to the rails. Um, it's not really a problem um, for riding. Um, it's just that, um, have that in mind if you're buying this board, that the, the grip on the rails will wear down faster and will chip off faster than the rest of the board, especially if you're doing flip tricks and or learning flip tricks especially, your board's gonna land on, you know, upside down occasionally, and it's gonna spin around probably, you're gonna lose some grip on that. So um 
Yeah, overall, great board. 9 out of 10 for me. Um, uh, yeah, great board. Um, if you guys have any more questions about the Bustin' Robot or, or any of our board reviews, you can comment in the box below or send us a channel comment or a message on our channel. We, we try and respond to all our messages as quickly as we can. And uh, so we can, you know, please you viewers out there. Um, Again, subscribe, comment in the box below, have fun with these boards. Um, I hope the review helped. Um, again, I'm Adam Swanson from High Point Longboarding, and we'll see you next time.